Hey, Chris here from Dirk Gear Australia. Had five minutes up my sleeve since we're uh, in isolation. Thought I'd get out in the front paddock and just sort of show you the angles that you can probably put your Laramie on um, out there in, in the forest and those sort of things and feel confident with it. So um, here we go, we'll show you just some of the little angles you can do and some of the little fun things. Just a short little video, thanks. So we're just going to drive the truck pretty slowly. We're in high range, all wheel drive in auto, and uh, probably, well, you can't feel it right at this stage, but that back right hand tire is kicking up in the air. Now, as we come down, that left wheel should be just right in the bottom of that. You're probably going to notice all your parking sensors are going to start going nuts if you're in the Laramie. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of sort of the angle the truck is on at the moment. So now we're going to gradually bring it around. Traction's just kicking in there just to help it pull it around. And that's a pretty good angle if you can see. Where we're sitting at and we're just going to drive along that angle a little bit you might notice I've got the wheel turned to the right slightly just to try and hold it up there and keep it up on that angle range four wheel drive stocks come in at a bit of an angle Back left hand tyre starting to kick up in the air, you can feel it pivoting. Now we're going to turn into the ditch, and uh, if you can see, parking sensors are all going nuts. So the parking sensor is actually on its red, saying I'm that close in that front corner. So we're just going to drive it along a little bit and hopefully you can see the angle the truck is on. I don't know what feels worse being on the high side or the low side but it's definitely not the fun feeling. So now we're going to see if she'll drive out where we're just in high range four wheel drive so I'm turning turning to the left to see if she'll grab some traction traction controls kicking in I'm just giving it a light feather you can feel the back slide around a little bit let that wheel get some bite and there you go that's high range four wheel drive in auto in a Laramie thing walks through a ditch easy okay so just two-wheel drive we'll just do a couple little hills and some little climbs you know some parking sensors will come in and out so let's just see if she'll climb back up this hill in two-wheel drive traction on and uh, 
nah, not gonna do it. Alright, so let's see if she'll drive up this hill and two wheel drives. Alright, not gonna do it, so we'll go four wheel drive auto. And you can see the thing just walks. Oh, spoke a bit too early. Probably doing a right, real hard right turn like that's not the best, but anyhow. So we're just going to leave in, in four wheel drive auto, high, and uh, we'll bring it back down a hill and then we'll take it back up another one. And we'll just put it on little bits of an angle so you can see that these things don't mind being on an angle. So there you go, there's parking sensors, you know, saying in the red on the front. So now we'll take it back up a hill. Just let it walk up. And we'll take it back down the hill. And the real hard thing about videos is they never show you the, the angles and the steepness that you're going on, you know. And this is wet grass or damp grass, so, uh, you know, and this is damp grass, so always a little bit slipperier. I'm running Toyo Rough Country tyres, probably about 35, 40 psi in them at the moment, so I haven't let them down, but we're just going to let it give it a little bit of juice so you can feel it start to slip. Let it walk up and down, those sort of things. All right, so we'll just show you the difference now in uh, four-wheel drive low. Uh, I'm gonna try and pick a little bit more of an aggressive part of the hill here, yeah, so. won't go into four wheel drive low until you put it in your neutral. And now we're in neutral and back into four wheel drive low. So I'm not even touching the accelerator. All right, now I've got to give it a little bit of acceleration. just to try and let it walk up that hill. And so four wheel drive low, you can see it just acts like a tractor. So we'll go back down that hill. And I'm just going to put her in first gear, so I've just used the paddle shift and brought it down into first gear. Just lightly touch the brake. And we'll just put it on a bit of an angle just to have a little bit more fun with. every now and again she'll make the truck kick back around so I'm in low range first gear so we'll just 
put it on the side of the hill. Uh, there was a little bit of a back ditch there. I don't know if you can, the camera really shows it, but we've got a nice little ditch here. Just gonna ease it down. And obviously the thing you gotta remember is that if you do feel like the truck's gonna tip, you should actually turn down the tip and accelerate. To get you out of that trouble. And then we'll go just straight back up the hill on an angle. On that back rear, back wheel to slip and just pull it around and go straight up. Back to neutral. Two wheel drive. Duh, we're done.